Read me a story, tell me a tale of fairies that sparkle and galleons that sail, princes and dragons, castles set high, tall magic beanstalks, and witches that fly. Hello everyone and welcome to Tell Me A Story. My name's Jenny and today's story is The Little Red Hen. Once upon a time, in a farmyard not that far from you, lived a little red hen and her three chicks. One sunny day she was scratching around in the yard looking for some grain to feed her family when she came across some ears of wheat. We won't eat these now, she said. We will plant them instead. Who will help me? She called out to the farmyard. Not I, said the lazy dog, who was snoozing in the sun. Oh, not I, said the farm cat, who was sleeping on the roof of the barn. Not I, <laughs> grunted the pig, who was lying in a patch of cool mud. Oh well, said the little red hen, I'll have to do it myself. And so she set to work. She dug up a patch of ground, sowed the seeds and raked it over. Then she carefully watered it and she waited. She waited for many weeks and eventually the grains had grown up into tall stalks of golden wheat. Now it's time to harvest the wheat, said the little red hen. So she called out to the farmyard, who will help me harvest my wheat? Not I said the lazy dog who was snoozing in the sun. Ugh, not I, said the farm cat who was sleeping on the roof of the barn. Not I, <coughs> grunted the pig who was still lying in a patch of cool mud. Oh well, said the little red hen, I'll have to do it myself. And so she set to work. She cut the wheat with a sharp sickle and then she threshed it until she had a sack full of grain. This was very heavy work for the little red hen and she was exhausted. Now this sack of grain must be taken to the windmill so that the miller can grind it into flour. So she called out to the farmyard, who will help me carry this heavy sack of grain? Not I, said the lazy dog who was still snoozing in the sun. Oh, not I, said the farm cat, who was sleeping on the roof of the barn. Not I, <coughs> grunted the funny pig, who was lying in a patch of cool mud. Oh well, said the little red hen, I'll have to do it myself. And so she set to work. The little red hen struggled to lift the sack onto her back, and then she trudged all the way to the windmill where the miller ground the grain into the finest flour. The miller then helped her lift the sack of flour onto her back and the little red hen carried it all the way home. She was so tired that when she got home, she fell fast asleep. In the morning when she woke, the sun was shining. It was now time to bake the flour into a delicious cake. So the little red hen called out to the farmyard once again. Who will help me? Not I, said the lazy dog, who was still snoozing in the sun. Ugh, not I, said the farm cat, who was sleeping on the roof of the barn. Not I, <coughs> grunted the pig, who was lying in a patch of cool mud. Oh well, said the little red hen, I'll have to do it myself and so she set to work. She had all the ingredients now, milk, butter, eggs and sugar, and now her soft, fresh flour. So she set to work and she baked the most amazing cake. The smell of that delicious cake wafted over the farmyard, tickling the noses of all the animals, including the lazy dog, 
the very sleepy cat and the muddy pig. <laughs> now it's time to eat my cake, said the little red hen. So she called out over the farmyard, who will help me eat this scrumptious cake? I will, said the lazy dog, who was standing at the front gate wagging his tail. I will, said the farm cat as she sniffed the air. I will, <coughs> grunted the pig, who was standing with his front trotters on the top of the wall of his sty. Oh no, you will not, said the little red hen. You didn't help me plant my seeds or harvest my wheat. You were too lazy to help me carry the grain to the windmill and not one of you would help me bake my cake. So, my chicks and I will eat it all ourselves. And that is exactly what they did. And do you know what? It was delicious. The end. I think that served those lazy animals right, don't you? <laughs> Thanks for listening, everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Read me a story, an old one or new. Read me a story. Did you enjoy that? Well, if you did, click the subscribe button and then you'll never miss anything from Cheeky Chimps TV again.